got an AC not working. Not sure why. And take a look here. Nothing's running. The compressor is hot. But no fan motor. So let's take a look. I should have my meter here. Let's see if we have voltage on the bottom. We've got 220, and on the top, we've got 220. Oh boy. So then we should have power, so I'm going to need to pull it. Could be a bad capacitors. Alright, tracing the conduit back, it's the back one. Yeah, and we're going to discharge our capacitors, Let's see what we got, discharge. I'm bridging the leads of the capacitor common to Herm, common to start wire, uh, holding only the insulated portion of the screwdriver, I'm using the metal portion of the screwdriver to bridge those leads on the capacitor for the compressor and then also on the capacitor for the fan. Just a good safety after the disconnecting. Feels kind of hot. Cancel out the charge that's held in it, stores it in the battery. Disconnect the hard start and the start wire here. And now we can test. Okay. Set our meter to capacitance. Sorry about the poor positioning of the camera here. I need to work a little better on that with my camera setup. Six, 33.35, it's just a little weak. And a five. The camera mount I used to use broke and the one I use now is, is uh, doesn't have the same abilities so I do need to figure that out a bit better position. The fan capacitor was reading 5.2, but it was showing up really fast on the meter. It usually, on? it usually has a little bit of a delay before it reads. And uh, let's take a look at our. Something was funny there. Contactor, make sure that's pulled in. Did register as two toys, so. Of course, it has to be pulled in. It is pulled in. Okay. So the pass, our compressor is overheated. Oh my gosh. It's a tough day here.
replace the 35 and the 5. I got some water here. It's not super cold, but something. Five. Find a five. Oh my gosh. Hey. Just wanted to see if you did. You get my text, okay? Oh. Oh, okay. Do you think they'd be able to find that pretty fast, or is that something that takes like a lot longer? Oh, oh okay, good. Hi, it's not that easy sometimes. <laughs> but uh, can you let me know as soon as you, you know something? Okay, thank you, sir. All right. So I didn't have another five in my bag, but this one tested okay. But my initial reaction was to replace it anyway. I thought I'd give it a shot because I didn't have one with me. And it did test at a 5.2. And it's a five microfarad capacitor, plus or minus 5%. So anywhere from 4.75 to 5.25 would be a good test. Now the reason I thought that the capacitor might actually be bad be okay. was because when I tested it, there we go. it immediately jumped to 5.2. My meter usually has a delay before it actually shows up. It usually takes a couple seconds to calculate. Fan is trying to spin. This looks like our fan motor. Uh, it could be that capacitor still. So I'm going to go grab a 5. All right, and compressor's probably overheated. Wee, I see a lot of stuff down there. Oh, I just dumped some more, so that's good. Okay, replaced the fan capacitor. I put some ice on the compressor. We got it running. Before it's nice and cold. Great. A little bit of a scary one, but uh, it's going to be over. Yeah. Get off this roof and working on another one.
You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God. Something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin is separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the word and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth and the life is the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked and don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years. So if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, can, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because, again, he took all of our sin on himself at the cross so put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering is he is the lamb the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world all right stay safe out there God bless God bless you mm -hmm.